hello guys hope you all are doing well so today we'll talk about ha in active active mode first uh, little bit theory on palo alto ha active active then we'll go for lab okay let's start so uh, basically when we deploy firewall in active active mode uh, both these firewall they back up each other in a sense there is an event when the primary firewall goes down all the configuration would be replicated on secondary firewall and there would be no interruption in traffic right so second point is about uh, how it works so basically uh, both the firewall they create a cluster and once the cluster is created they forward the traffic at the same time so both the firewall process the traffic at the same time in the meantime uh, there is no increase in a throughput observed uh, then another point is uh, ha we can uh, active active ha we can do in l3 mode and in vwire mode then uh, on a smaller pa 200 firewall and vm series firewall it only supports ha light model wherein they cannot do ha active active so uh, like these are main points so basically in uh, ha active active deployment we need three links ha1 ha2 ha3 link HA1 and HA2 links we have already seen with active passive model where HA1 link is used for control link wherein it syncs the config and HA2 link is like data link wherein it uh, syncs sessions and all. Here uh, we would need additional link called as HA3 link which will use to forward the session if it has been initiated on the firewall where the firewall should not you know process that session so through this link like firewall a forwards the packet to firewall b if like firewall b is initial owner of the session also it takes care of asymmetric uh, uh, routing and all you know so uh, basically that's the use of ha3 link then each device in active active deployment is assigned with one specific device id so uh, same uh, devices with same device uh, device id they don't uh, you know form cluster then in ha active active there are uh, like you know two status we can see active active and active passive so basically this active active status and active passive status is determined by the priority value that we define so lower the priority that firewall would be in a active active state now this is also important one which talks about uh, session ownership and session setup basically uh, session ownership uh, we say it like you know that firewall owns that session and it uh, it process all l7 uh, processing and that would be handled by that particular uh, firewall which owns that session so layers on processing in a sense we say user id app id uh, that is all that all would be processed by that particular firewall in the meantime that particular firewall would be responsible for generating a traffic logs that we see under monitor uh, tab then there is another called session setup session setup is basically responsible for doing uh, l2 to l4 processing you know all the things that are done by layer 2 to layer 4 
those are all done under session setup those are like you know NAT routing and all those things next uh, if session owner and session, uh, session setup are on the separate firewall then HA3 interface would be used to send traffic to correct firewall so it's like uh, you, know, uh, you know if firewall A owns a session if, if it is a session owner but if firewall B receives that session through HA3 link firewall B forwards that session to firewall A then uh, session setup basically uh, we can uh, configure two option for session setup first one talks about you know first packet wherein the firewall that receives the first packet it would be a uh, you know that fire on, on that firewall the session would set up another option we have a primary device so if the primary device receives the packet it will be sent to active firewall through ha3 so uh, like um, in this mode if secondary firewall receives the packet it again sends through uh, primary device so in other sense we are uh, saying for uh, like primary firewall to create all sessions actually then uh, uh, in the same way for session owner there are a couple of ways like ip modulus ip hash and primary device so in ip modulus basically uh, using the modulus operation of, on the source ip it basically determines which device will set up a session and it distributes that session based on the parity of the ip addresses so you know it's bit on uh, how the parity and all is set so based of that uh, it, uh, it it determines the session owner you know then second one is ip hash uh, so it, it again based on the hash value of the source and the uh, a destination uh, it again you know sets up the uh, session then primary device as it says you know the device that we select it would be a primary uh, device for all the sessions same like you know uh, for this session set up the primary device same option is here for the primary device um, then basically for session owner setup uh, by default Palo Alto recommends to use IP modulus that will do a modulus operation based of the source IP address so that would be the one that you know they recommend so uh, this is all like quick summary of how uh, uh, you know theoretical concepts beho uh, behind active active HA on Palo Alto firewall so in a next uh, video session we will uh, we will configure the lab on uh, setting up ha in a uh, active active uh, active active deployment so thanks for watching please do comment if you have any uh, questions for me thanks bye